First of all, we don't know much about dark energy. We know how much dark energy there is, because we know how it affects the universe's expansion. Other than that, it is a complete mystery. It turns out that roughly 68% of the universe is dark energy, while dark matter makes up about 27%. The rest, everything on Earth, everything ever observed with all of our instruments, all normal matter adds up to less than 5% of the universe. Maybe we shouldn't call it normal matter at all, since it is such a small fraction of the universe. Unlike ordinary matter, dark energy has negative pressure. And it's this negative pressure that makes gravity repulsive, behaving like the opposite of gravity. For ordinary matter, gravity is always attractive. Dark energy appears to be smoothly smeared out through the entire universe, and it interacts with ordinary matter only through the action of gravity, making it nearly impossible to test in the laboratory. Albert Einstein was the first person to realize that empty space is not nothing. He predicted that it's possible for more space to come into existence and that empty space can possess its own energy. As more space comes into existence, more of this energy of space would appear. As a result, this form of energy would cause the universe to expand faster and faster.